I'm glad that you grabbed some of the stuff, though. Right. So, I know, like, in general, it's not very hard to get to. Like, I think that was what well, he was concerned about. Yeah. So. Um, and, and we will continue, you know, working on that. I think since the 88 rising, um, we had, um, you know, security officers at the ingress and egress to make to make sure there's ingress and egress. And the street is only and, and will only be closed from the earliest 9.30 to 12 midnight for the egress. And that's solely, um, solely for the egress. Um, so there's going to have 16, 18, 20,000. You know, but on the other aspect, part of ADA rising, you know, when you have 22 mostly young Asian and Chinese Americans coming back to Chinatown, I think this is kind of what we're all working for to make Chinatown fully sustainable. And again, the, the, the greater good. And I think with a little bit of a, um, communication or, or effort, we, we should have somber plan before and about I believe it's under litigation. I don't know any more of the details. By who? I believe by the unions and... No, one union. One union and someone or some people affiliated with CCE maybe. I don't know the particulars. And what's CCE mean? China Community for Equitable Development. Any, any, um, so it's going to be a while. It'll be a while, yes. And it has gone through a full one year. Um, that one, yes. A project that we first pulled out of cast in 2013. <laughs> just, okay, so just to give you an idea of the advantage um, of, of this. Um, okay, um, Christina, anything on um, Llewellyn and the plausibility? Uh, Llewellyn is just under construction. Um, and La Plaza Village. Ahead of schedule, I hear. Sorry? Ahead of schedule, I hear. Hope, knock wood. And then um, La Plaza Village is actually, um, we're, in, we're leasing, we had the official opening last week, and we're coordinating with the city on the Rosero pro, um, uh, project that is going to be unveiled on Sunday. Who's, who's representing them? Come on, Pro. Um, maybe Brad, because he travels on weekends. I'm not going to be available for work. Oh, I, I, so I, I will. Um, the Bracero Plaza um, is um, um, is 
set the form, it, it was the former flip lane at Cedar Commons and Broadway and North Spring Street. And it's been made into a, a nice plaza. And, um, and there's a statue there. And, um, and I, I was told by the city, by, actually by a street in LA, that it will be up to the community to help maintain that plaza. So that should be a very interesting to see. Anything else? How's the, how's the locations? Good. Um, a lot of the dates are sold out already. I'm going to be there. <laughs> They're going to be open, I believe, until October 20th. Uh, but it's been a steady stream of people who are maybe not so familiar with the area. So it's been, it's been really great. Okay. Is that open? How about city? Yes. That was the exact word from Scott. Shimatsu? Yeah, I mean, he's a very nice guy, but realistically, the city has no budget to maintain these things. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's only sure I understand is that I don't know if you're not going to get the city to come with the program. There's not a whole bunch of space. A whole bunch of space. So, uh, Um, and as far as um, 
time bomb mark here. And I, I think it's very um, um, unfair, especially in talking to the residents. And I'm not talking about the residents like Alexis and Osceola, but the residents like Lisa or any of the other long term, longer term Asian residents. They, they don't need to stop with that. Maybe, you know, for your, your, your base necessity.
Um, it's in English and Spanish on the website, and we have stuff in Spanish and English. And we are we're in the process of translating it. Specific to 652 on um, North Broadway, um, Dr. Pam Gothard, who walked by that I, I followed up and I spoke about this on the next day. Um, <coughs> what are the, the odds that we can give him this whole storefront back? We can. It's a little different for a business owner. A business owner is not part of this venue. Uh, oh, no, but this business is locked. No, I understand that, but it's the store next to him that's putting that merchandise back. So that is handled a different way than the street venue, since it's an actual business here. They're going to be held to a, to, to a higher standard. We have a different part of the municipal code that regulates a brick and mortar vendor's use of the premises than a sidewalk vendor. And I know well, it's a answer to left with enforcement, right. but um, then again, there's, we've had a, this issue for since the original case inspection back in the mid 2000s. How do you The brick and mortar merchant. It's going to be the same. I mean, we'll address it the same. We'll just we can get uh, talk to them about what the municipal code is that, that regulates that particular uh, violation that exists there. Same as we would do with the brick. Pretty much it. Give them an opportunity to comply. So is there an updated um, handout for the brick and mortar as well? No, it's not updated. It's it, uh, That's an existing municipal code. What we had translated that I had. Did you get to see over that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that we had passed out a couple of times. Other questions regarding um, street vending? Can I say it's kind of ironic that the brick and mortar business is held to a higher standard. It sounds like, I mean, I, I get both things about the state and the city of Wall Street. I don't know if it's street vending is going to be going to close, but I'm curious if the compliance. Um, 
Okay. You know, I would wish that all of you would set the time to make a call yourself. To call LA DOT. First of all, that has to start from there. The HR number that you have to call. Whether it's somebody illegal in park, um, it could be um, the jewelry stores are very concerned about um, people parked in front of the jewelry store, giving the jewelry store robbery. Um, you, know, you also have the RV situation. Um, I, I could go on and on. And it takes an enormous amount of time to follow up on just one call. So please, you know, be the change that you want to see. I'm happy to give you guys any of the numbers. You know, start making some of those calls yourself. Um, start generating a 311 call. Um, you know, and then I won't be in the top five or ten of um, 311 requests. <laughs> um, but thank you, and, and we'll, you know, we'll get the information out there. Okay, and then you know while we're on this one one subject, this is just within the last week. Well, anyway, you saw those some of those images. I'll I'll, I'll dig them up later. But this, this these are all multi items including multi-item in front of um, United Methodist Church. I know you have no residential, and the multi-item is not from you, but still, you know, you know, in terms of in, in the chronic places, um, we will allow two of them to pick up, even within the district, because those residents need to bear some responsibility. The one right in front of United Methodist Church, which will pick up the same day. So, um, okay, moving forward, cross out request. We knew this was coming down the line um, through Lisa. We found a, a vendor um, of um, bamboo fiber straws that we are going to be experimenting with um, some selected merchants. And um, we'll do a couple of rounds of this. Oh, yeah, you can, you can, you can see that it comes with um, palm tree and the boba side. Um, and these are supposed to be supposed to be able to break down in a landfill within. 90 days. Okay. Um, and it's a Chinese vendor. <laughs> Korean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they all look the same. Um, I met him. I had no idea. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, we 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 have a letter ready. It's been translated. We're gonna attend them. Um, the meeting tomorrow morning and I have talked to, to make sure there's no new wrinkles and we'll get it out there. Um, did you want to, did anyone want to? Um, no, I was going to say, thank you for the materials and information. Thank you very much for being proactive and seeking out an alternative. Um, nothing new, we're, we're doing, um, the only thing that's changed and hopefully we got all of that on the way that we have the goal to move the electric ball to the garden facility to Los Angeles County. And we sent
projected numbers were somewhere between eight eight hundred and a thousand dollars extra per month just to go to a greenware on this phone. How is he supposed to, you know, if he if he passes it along, there goes the gentrification, you know, um, how can people afford this?
Oh, sure. Is, uh, the usables are the only 